All right, All here right. we are, standing on some goop in yep. Airhead. I uh, chose the best starting location because uh, I just felt like this is very neat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, we're actually inside the uh, facility, as we call it right now. So um, the the big factory of sorts, um, mm -hmm. in an area that uh, you get to explore uh, kind of a bit later in the game. So if you're always in already. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of overgrown by uh, mushrooms and uh, also uh, apparently inhabited by some uh, creatures home that don't... Home of some funny critters, yeah. Yes, so the humans are long gone and this is just kind of the remains of, of the facility. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we're trying to make our way uh, up the uh, tower eventually, so we're here right now and upwards is always good so let's try to aim for this uh, spot on the top right here um that kind of hints towards there uh, being more um right yeah so okay you can so see you, you already showed that we have some new abilities yes, that we don't have in the beginning exactly we already got some upgrades like this is a double jump and you can also like do a dash jump right. here um, and uh, as you will see um just about now when i get through these little critters here, um, which are scared of the light. We can also <laughs> produce our own light, um, which helps us move them along as we go. Um, and yeah, they use their bodies and their stickiness to kind of cross bridges um, and get away from potential light sources that scare them. Could um, you have used them as a bridge as well now? Yes, I could have walked right, over them, right. um, but right now I don't it's not I can jump over that yeah. gap myself. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, we want to move them further to the uh, right. So let's mm -hmm. use this little glow bee, as we call them um, here, to create some additional light to just move them further to the right, further away. And um, let's maybe, yeah. Possibly get rid of it to our earthly fireflies. <laughs> yeah, get rid of it and uh, go into the foreground here. Let's hope that I'm fast enough to Nice. here and push them even further to the right. Yeah, there's another of these uh, lobies over here that they are scared of, so let's try to quickly grab it. But, uh, no, don't, no, don't go back! <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, let's try, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try to scare them to the right. And then... Get the bee over them. Mm -hmm. Get this bee over here. There we go. That should do it. Nice. And let's keep them moving further to the right, um, mm -hmm. because let's see in a moment um, there's a gap that we want to cross, and right. for that we need our little friends over here. Um, so let's just go back into the foreground again. As you can see, um, there's always layers to everything. Um, so it's not always walking on one path. Sometimes mm. you can go into the foreground or into, into the background. Right. Sometimes uh, a path will be curved. Um, so while mm -hmm. it is 2D in a way, uh, most of the time from the, from the movement, um, mm -hmm. it's not always uh, There is a three-dimensional quality to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, so we were able to reach this platform um, with the help of a little critter friend. With more goop on it. Oh, there's goop everywhere. <laughs> there's goop everywhere, yes. It's uh, it's actually kind of uh, relevant to, to the backstory of what happened mm. in this facility. Um, as you can see, um, yeah, we already saw the black goop at the very beginning where it kind of ended up. Um, but you can kind of follow the path in reverse and, and see yeah. at the top there, it came out there. And then you can see it kind of on the walls here and on the floor. And it was apparently whatever it was was pushed inside this uh, big grinder here. And turned here. into goop. Uh, yeah. we could, which we can actually just jump in ourselves now since uh, we're not really uh, scared of, of, of getting harmed usually. Um, the right. only real uh, issue that we have that, that is that we have to refill the head um, with air so that it's it doesn't run out. Maybe something worth showing for people who have no idea what Airhead is, is that this is actually not like one person that we're seeing. It's oh yeah, right. Uh, you can actually just... Uh, that's not my <laughs> actual head. That is, uh, uh, kind of a being that usually um, uses uh, the uh, second half that's been stolen to mm -hmm. supply itself with air. And um, now that it's gone, we are trying to kind of keep it alive by refilling um, the air supply that it has on these air cylinders that right. conveniently um, were left by the humans um, around 
the environment of Earth. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so uh, kind of an issue we have right now is we have these cleaner robots here that try to detect, usually they're try to, um, trying to detect ta uh, trash and push it away. Right. Um, so we're kind of getting detected as trash right now, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, as you can see, there's a cable attached to it. Yes. And um, maybe mm. by tricking it, we can I try see. to get on the other side and see where the cable leads. I see where you're going. Yeah, now we're back here and there's a control panel here and we have an upgrade for it um, that we collected earlier mm -hmm. um, where now we can actually use these uh, control panels to control the machine. So right now I am actually controlling this clean robot uh, via the cable and I can uh, maybe even make it so it uh, moves further than it's supposed to go. Up. There you go. You broke it. Yep. Yes, yeah, so I guess in, in this world of airhead, the um, the air that we use for anything really uh, sort of works like a form of electricity yeah. almost. Like, or ac it works kind of like how electricity works in our real in world, world, I guess. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, most of the machinery that you can see in the game is powered by a sort of air, like strong air pressure, mm -hmm. um, which the head is uh, is able to produce. Um, yeah. Due to it being stored inside, mm -hmm. um, and yeah. So if you look at the map now, we've already uncovered a bit more. Uh, but we want to go further up here on the right. It doesn't really look like we can go up here. Um, so maybe let's try going to the top left here. Um, and for that, we kind of reach a control panel here again, so we can control this second cleaner robot. And uh, as we just did, we can do. Once more to again crash it and mm -hmm. uh, create a path for us uh, forwards and further up the tower, hopefully. Yeah. So, yeah. This is a beautiful platform now. And um, yeah, as you can see in the background, uh, the facility is already kind of broken and, and yeah. Sort of dilapidated, yeah. Yeah, not really in the greatest state. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been a while since uh, the humans uh, have been in this area. Mm -hmm. and at the very top there, maybe you can barely see it right now, um, are also some conveyor belts that maybe you've seen in the cinematic trailer that we already showed, yeah. um, uh, where they were still intact because the cinematic trailer plays before uh, the, the events, the events of, the game. of the actual mm -hmm. game. Um, so right now here, there's another type of, of critter that kind of now inhabits the uh, abandoned facility um, and we call them bug birds. And what they do is they kind of protect this area here where they put their the food for their babies. And if we step on it, as you can see, it, it tries to remove us from the scene so the babies can feed in peace. They just carry us away. Yeah, yeah and they just drop us wherever they please. And um, in this case, it actually brought us further up. Although if we take a look at the map, there's not really a path up here, but there is one kind of more in the middle of the area. And uh, you can see uh, there's a purple and more roundly shaped kind of uh, air cylinder on mm -hmm. the left here, um, which is a, a light air or kind of like a helium tank, which um, when the head inhales it, it allows it to float for a while. Yeah. Um, so maybe, maybe if we are able to reach that, we'll be able to get further up. Uh, but the pathways are kind of broken, as you can already see on the map. Um, so let's see what we can do about here. Here's another bird, but it kind of just, just brings us back us up. right back. Um, it's actually nice that they just carry you. like. Most animals I know would attack you yeah. to protect their their children, but um, yeah, I mean they're they're, just, they're very nice and peaceful. <laughs> yeah, they're feeding on plants, so then yeah. they're, they're not interested in, right. in eating you or anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're uh, looking at this scene from before, you can see there's actually a second uh, bugbird at the top there, up yeah. the top left, and it's not um, it's not reaching us. It's trying to, but the other one is faster, yeah. as you can see. Both of us are going um, for it. Uh, both of them are going for us, Yes, <laughs> I um, should say. And so this one might be able to carry us somewhere else, uh, but we'll have to distract that the one. The first one, yeah. Um, so I've already seen there's a, a rock here. You can actually see it kind of like 
blinking, mm -hmm. uh, which is an accessibility feature we added so that you can kind of see which objects are interactable. Um, so we can maybe just push it to the left. But then, uh, but then we push it onto the eating area again, and it tries tries to remove it just as it tries to remove us. Yeah, it's like nope. Um, okay, so hmm, maybe we'll have to find a way to distract We've this bugbird. Also, <laughs> we've learned just before that we can leave our head behind, right? Yeah, that's right. Ah. Okay, well, <laughs> well, let's see. Okay, here's an idea. Hmm. Let's try maybe putting the head. Oh, oh. I already stole it. Oh. Okay. I think this is going to be a little That's bit of a tight spot. Fast, yeah. um, so let's just he just get that was a that was a monster block. He just yeah. snatched it out of the air. Let's get back up here with the head. Okay, so let's let's try to time this right. Get over here, and then drop the head. Oh, that was <laughs> hit the, the ceiling there. Drop the head right onto this. Yeah. And then go 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 go. Quickly try to push it. It's not a far uh, far away dropping spot. But nope. I think we'll make it. Okay. Yeah. And then of course <laughs> it grabs us instead because we were still standing on the floor, but that's alright because we can this just outrun it now. Actually good because the uh, the head, while you're not basically holding it, uh, loses air over yeah, time. That's right. right? You so can leave it. Usually it only loses air while you move. Yes. But once you leave it behind it loses air over time. Yes, so, so. you uh, need to get back to it when yep. it's uh, on its own. Otherwise it'll run out of air and it's game over for you at some point. Yeah. Okay, so we can push this rock further down, and now it's right here, and we yeah. can push it onto the feeding area to hopefully distract the one on the right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's now, now it's quite obvious. And now the one on the top left can reach us and try to remove us from the scene, and yeah. it'll drop us right where we need it to be. Perfect. Um, and yeah, this is the the purplish tank, as you can see, it fills up purple on the right here, mm -hmm. and um, now we'll be able to float, and let's try to hit that, maybe do an air dash and a jump, Ooh. very smooth, and now we're right where we want it to be, which is at the top here, and we can now reach this bridge, and maybe cl uh, climb up here, here, very cool, and now we're on what appears to be a train track. There's the train. Followed. Yeah, there's the train. <laughs> what a surprise. Um, all right, so we can, there's a control panel again, so we can control this train. And maybe try to ramp through the door here. Oh, but it's mm. moving very slowly. It looks like it's broken. Yeah. At least one of the wagons. Yeah, it seems to be dragging over the floor on the left there. I don't think it's going to be fast enough to be able to ram through this door into it's the It's barely fast enough to even make it yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. Well, we're almost there. Maybe let's see if it works. And yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> How unsatisfying. That's not going to cut it. Okay, <laughs> let's move it back a bit. I think uh, yep. maybe we can use the train as a platform to get up to the top here. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see where we are even. Okay, it looks like a kind of a train station of sorts. And yeah, this is the tower. That's we where definitely we want, want to, to go. get in there. As you can see, this is going further up and up is mm -hmm. kind up of is always where good. we want to go, yes. Okay, so let's see um let's see where this leads us. You can also see here, even here uh nature has kind of started to Claim, back over, claim yeah. back things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have another control panel here, which seems to be controlling it. kind of like a train elevator. Um, and I've just lowered it, so now the now uh, the track tracks align. Tracks align, and I see where this is going. Yeah, maybe we can use the train to kind of uh, yeah move it into the elevator and see if we can maybe do something with that. Oh, I'm, but I'm I have parked it not in a great spot because now I can. Get up here, and I. Uh, oh. I think I might not be able to go back the way where I came. Yeah, because I lowered this. Okay. So let's. Okay, let's go back. Let's realign the train. Yes, maybe we, there's a parking spot where we park it right. It'll allow us to. Um, yeah. Get back to the control panel without right. having to go back up. Okay. Sink it just a little bit to the right. Yeah, a bit to the right. 
this would be good maybe and then we can also go below these arches because there is one wagon that's kind of empty yeah. here so maybe this is a good spot almost a bit unlucky <laughs> um okay let's try this again oh well, it's fair there's no rush really there's no never really any time constraints i guess no. except for when you get rid of like when you leave your head behind yes then but you know exactly okay so it's very short back down and short sections let's mm. see if we can now get back to the train that looks good controls. okay you can move here and perfect now we can drop down here and yeah we made our way back okay so let's very slowly drive this train <laughs> back it up into the elevator into the elevator yeah. and maybe we can exchange that wagon that's broken by detaching it somehow We'll get there eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely need to find a way to make this train a lot faster if you ever want to be able to get it through that door on the Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Uh, almost there. And there we go. Uh, okay. And now uh, you broke the elevator. I broke the elevator. That's maybe not what I wanted to do, but <laughs> I think it's also tilted down a bit, so maybe we can now... Yeah. Use the new gap here to be able to get into this nest-like structure. It doesn't really seem like that's part of the train station. I don't think so, no. Yeah. Yeah, interestingly you know, uh, enough, uh, all of these uh, creatures and critters you can find in the game, um, you can also find about uh, find out some things mm -hmm. about in this uh, library that we have. So whenever we m meet a creature, or maybe meet a creature again, um, we can find some interesting like background story or or just you know behavioral uh, information about them in right. this uh, library here um so as we meet new uh, entities or robots or, or creatures in mm -hmm. the game um a lot of new information about them um, will be added to the library um and there's also a very complex backstory about pretty much everything in the game that's actually, uh, connected yeah um so for people that are interested in that, uh, there's a lot to find and a very intriguing story to uncover. Um, but yeah, for us, for now, for our current goal... Uh, we, we want to ram a train through a door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, it's really simple, actually. Yeah. And we just broke off the yeah. uh, broken train piece. So let's see if that now... Oh, there yeah. we go. Much faster than before. That'll do the trick. And let's see... There we go. He's a controller on this. Yeah, everything. controller. <laughs> controller is going crazy. Perfect. And it seems like we kind of lost <laughs> most of the train <laughs> somewhere yeah. on the way. Um, and yeah, so this area we just came out is actually one we've visited a lot earlier in the game. Um, and there's now kind of a shortcut here, um, and it's kind of opened uh, another spot in the interconnected world. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. As you can see, this is now all connected to the uh, mountain area from uh, er, before in the game. Um, and we can also use this, apparently this broken train piece right here. Oh, fell through the background instead, but that's not a problem. We can get right back up. As you can see, we can also, of course, just move, go back, move back yeah. to the train station. Although the, the uh, air tank is, I think, um, <laughs> on the train, so it's on the other side now. We can actually just reset your last checkpoint right. if we don't feel like... You might not make it anymore. Um, yeah, I'm making it better, but we can definitely get up on this train now, and then yeah, go up, up here, for example, and move further up the tower. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, I think um, that's all we're going to show for now. Of Fair course, uh, there's something very cool at the top of the tower, but we'll not spoil what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, that's Airhead. Uh, I think it's not too long now before the game will be available to play for everyone. And we're already very interested uh, to hear from you and how you'll like it. Absolutely. <laughs>